Size for quick getaways, the Red Wing 44 is a durable, functional pack that will keep you organized on the go. Backpacker or city slicker, this pack is built to keep up with you. For easy access to all your smaller items, there are zippered side pockets and a front pocket, complete with an organization panel. If you need a spot to stick an extra layer, there's a stash pocket that secures with an aluminum hook. The stretch pockets on the sides are a handy spot for your water bottle. The hidden daisy chain and handle are there when you need them, but tuck away when you don't. This U-shaped zipper allows you to load the pack like a traditional top loader, or after unbuckling the side compression straps, you can open up the whole thing like a panel loader, giving you direct access to everything you need. Inside the pack is a padded hydration sleeve that can also be used to keep your laptop safe. The padded back panel has a single light beam aluminum stay and a HDPE frame sheet that helps keep the load stable and transfer the weight of your pack onto the hip belt. Versatile enough to join you on the trail or on a quick flight, the Red Ring 44 is a no-brainer no matter where your journey begins or ends. With its diminutive size and impressively fast boil times, the Paca Rocket has been MSR's best-selling stove for years. Now, the next generation Paca Rocket 2 takes everything good about the celebrated original and makes it smaller and lighter without sacrificing any of its powerful performance. The refined Paca Rocket 2 is just as fast and powerful as the original, boiling a liter of water in just three and a half minutes but we've shaved the weight down further to just 73 grams, or 2.6 ounces. By designing its pot supports to fold down around the stove body, we've reduced its pack size to create a tiny piece of high-performance equipment. Its improved pot supports are stamped out of strong stainless steel, and they now accommodate a wider range of pot sizes with greater stability. We've also carried forward the stove's wind-clipped windscreen on the burner head. With the burner surface separated into three areas, wind can blow out one or even two sectors and the stove will remain lit, minimizing wasted fuel. Precision flame adjustment allows you to go from torch all the way down to simmer. Incredibly easy to use, this impressive microstove is perfect for first time buyers to fast and light fanatics. Stow it inside the Titan kettle or even inside the Titan mug for the ultimate ultra light kit. This is the Eastern Mountain Sports Switch 3550 sleeping bag. And this is probably the most versatile bag we make because it's really two bags in one. The red side has two layers of our synthetic OmniLoft insulation. It'll keep you warm down to 35 degrees. On those warm summer nights, flip the bag over. And the orange side has a single layer of OmniLoft, which will keep you comfortable when the temps are above 50 degrees. When you're climbing in the bag, you'll see a label that'll let you know which side is up and what that temperature rating is going to be. This bag has a wide roomy cut, so it makes it perfect for car camping, but it's also light and compressible enough to take on your next backpacking trip. So no matter where you're going or what you're doing, the Switch 3550 sleeping bag will keep you warm and comfortable at any temperature down to 35 degrees. Assembly. Your kit comes with the following items. A screw on off 0.1 micron filter with a cap. Hose. Threaded hose coupling. Filter hanger. Threaded bucket tongue adapter. Two rubber washers. Plastic nut. Backwash plunger. Cleaning coupling. Drill bit. And an instructional sticker. First, find a food grade plastic container to attach the filter to. It can be a 5-gallon or 20-liter bucket, a rubbish can, or 200-liter barrel or drum. Avoid containers that previously stored chemicals or paint. 
use a 13 16 drill bit to cut a hole about one and a half inches or four centimeters from the bottom of the bucket. This allows dirt to settle on the bottom of the bucket. You can do this by hand. However, a power drill will speed up the process. After cutting the hole, make sure to remove any loose pieces of plastic as these can lead to a leak in the seal. Take a rubber washer and place it over the threads of the bucket tongue adapter and insert the adapter through the hole on the outside of the bucket. The small wedge side of the washer should touch the bucket. Place the second rubber washer on the bucket tongue adapter on the inside of the bucket. Again, the small wedge side of the washer should touch the bucket. Attach the plastic nut to the threads of the bucket tongue adapter on the inside of the bucket and tighten the nut so it is good and hand tight to avoid any leaks. Connect the hose to the stem of the bucket tongue adapter. Attach the gray threaded coupling to the other side of the hose. Then, take the filter hanger and slide it up the back side of the filter. Screw the filter onto the gray hose coupling and hang it on the side of the bucket. Only hand tighten, don't over tighten by using any tools. Filtering water. When filtering turbid or muddy water, Pre-filtering the water with a cloth or t-shirt before running it through the filter will help maintain the flow rate. To start the flow of water, remove the cap on the filter and simply lower the filter down. You also wanna make sure the top bucket is vented. So if you are using a lid, make sure to slightly unseal the lid from the bucket. If the top bucket is not vented, a vacuum could be created inside of the bucket because there is no way for air to escape. This will slow down your flow rate. To turn off the filter, simply hang it from the side of the bucket and screw the cap back on. Avoid letting the filter dry without cleaning and backwashing it. Backwashing with the cleaning plunger. Clean your filter often to help maintain the flow rate. We recommend cleaning the filter after each five gallon or 20 liter bucket, or at least once a day before you go to bed. First, you wanna reserve a glass or cup of filtered water. Then, empty your dirty bucket. Next, fill the included cleaning plunger with filtered water. With the filter still attached to the hose, remove the filter cap and insert the plunger onto the tip of the filter so you will be pushing water in the reverse direction of the arrow on the filter label. Backwash the clean water through the filter and directly into the dirty bucket. The first plunger full should be the most forceful. Repeat this process at least three times or until the backwashed water runs clear. Discard the backwashed water from the dirty water bucket when you're finished cleaning. Backwashing with the cleaning coupling. First, reserve a clean plastic bottle full of clean, filtered water. Then, empty your dirty bucket. With the filter still connected to the hose, screw the cleaning coupling onto the drinking side of the filter. Screw the bottle of clean water onto the cleaning coupling. Tip upside down and squeeze forcefully. Backwash straight into the dirty water bucket and repeat this process several times until the water comes through clear and easily. Discard the backwashed water from the dirty water bucket when you're finished cleaning. Additional cleaning instructions. If backwashing doesn't adequately clean your filter, try alternating forward and backwards flushing. To do this, fill the cleaning plunger with clean water and push water forwards through the filter with the direction of the flow arrow, followed by pushing water backwards against the flow arrow. Repeat backwashing forwards and backwards until the filter is fully cleaned. If backwashing doesn't get your filter flowing again, we recommend soaking the filter in warm water for two hours to loosen up any sediment in the fibers before backwashing. The water should be warm enough that you can stick your hand in it. If your water source is mineral rich, soak the filter in vinegar for half an hour, followed by forceful backwashing with warm water. It is best to keep your filter, backwash plunger, and bucket components out of direct sunlight. Keep it out of reach of children and protected so it is not used as a toy. Always filter water into a decontaminated storage vessel or else you run the risk of recontaminating the water. Make sure you wash out the containers you are using with soap or bleach on a regular basis. You can also remove the cap and wash it regularly since dirty hands may have been touching it. Never run soapy water through the filter.